You know what, I feel a bit conflicted wearing this Juve top because I don't actually like Juventus, it's just a nice top and I've got it for like 10 quid. So, can't say no. Guys, welcome to today's video. My name's Tomo, this is the Tom McCluskey YouTube channel and today it's another five and three. And today we're talking about five illustrator tips, beginner illustrator tips, five things I wish I knew about Illustrator earlier. Illustrator was the first Adobe program I learned. Before then, I was literally Microsoft Paint. That was that was my that was my limit. The first ever university art board thing I handed in was on paint. I know. Learn from my mistakes. Today's subject is Harry Slabeb Maguire, the man that I fell in love with over this World Cup. So tip number one is image trace. Now I brought this image of old Harry into Illustrator. And you can see this option image trace at the top now if you click down on that you get a, a variety of options now i'm gonna go with three colors just because it is a nice quick one and basically what it will do it will take the image and it will break it down and it will create a vectorized version which is all shapes that can be infinitely upscaled or downscaled and once it's eventually done hurry up on the face of it it looks a bit rubbish um I mean, you can, see, you can see the effects. The colors are automatic based on the image, um, but what you can do is expand that into, as you see, all these can be individually selected and moved and whatever. So this is one I did earlier. Obviously, I've changed a lot of the colors just to look a bit nicer. I'll put the kit in black because I think it looks sick and I put the red at the top. So tip number two is the Pathfinder tool. Now, as you can see, I've added these little corner elements. So to replicate these, I would create two squares the one there, I click, hold Alt and Shift to move it in one plane. So now I've got two squares overlaying each other, highlight them both, and then the Pathfinder tool, which is under Window Pathfinder, you can do all kinds of things. You can merge them, you can delete the front from the back. You know, Pathfinder tool is really helpful, it allows you to do a lot. So I definitely recommend experimenting with that. But yeah, that's how I went about creating these little corner bits. Tip number three is Alt Drag plus Command D. Now that probably sounds like a load of nonsense, but I'll explain. So see all of these lines here. So I've I'm just going to delete all them. So start with one line there. I've just I've just plonked that line in, right? If you go all drag, you can see it duplicates it, which is what I did before. Okay. But then as soon as you let go, if you go Command D slash Control D, um, it just duplicates it and it gives it the same spacing as well as before. So you can go to your heart's content. So tip number four is the align tool. Now you see that in a tab next to Pathfinder. They're both very useful tools. Now see these dots here. Let's get rid of the rest. Okay, so say I've got a dot here and I'll kind of duplicate that and there, but then I'll, I'll, uh, they're all over the place. I, I don't know what I've done. I want all these to line up and I want the spacing between them to all be the same. So what I need to do is select them all on your align tool. Now this option here is vertical align center that centers them all and this one here is distribute evenly and that's it done easy peasy and finally tip five is the envelope distort tool now i've added old slab heads bit of text going in there i think that looks quite nice so i've just typed out the word slab I create a shape that goes over it drag that shape up then i will select direct selection tool drag this down drag that up basically i'm creating the profile where i want the text to fit and then you select both go to object envelope distort and make with top object there's a lot of things you could do with envelope distort not just this alternatively envelope distort with warp You've got loads of different style options here, different things you can do. If you want like arch text, this is a really easy way of just doing that. So there we have it, the final piece of finished artwork. I, I think it is quite cool. I mean, I, I was literally just messing around with different effects for this tutorial. So yeah, again, as before, I will attach the editable set of being .ai file in a WeTransfer link in the description so you guys are welcome to download it and, and have a play around. So if you have enjoyed this video, please, please, please drop a like on it. I'm very much small time at the minute, but I'm hoping to get there. So subscribe if you want to see more and don't forget to hit that notification bell because that, apparently that's important on YouTube. I mean, who knew? Thanks again. Hope you've enjoyed it. Have a good one. Let's have a good one.